All right, so here we just logged into our Hyper-V module and we want to get one of our USB drives to be able to, for access inside our actual virtual machine. So one of the things you would do, and if you don't have this box pop up when you originally start your virtual machine, what you wanna do is power it down and let it sit off for a little while and then restart it again. It's gonna bring to the screen about your display configuration. What you're gonna do is click on show more options, go to your local resources, and you have your remote audio and local devices. I'm gonna to go to your settings, oops, my fault. You're gonna to go to your <laughs> more options here, click on the plus arrow, and then you can add whichever drive you want. So I wanna have access to my data analytics drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And then we'll go ahead and connect. <clears throat> and that's gonna reboot, cool. And it's just gonna bring me into the domain that I'm on. And let me put in my password. And again, this is for you to be able to get access to a USB drive that you have plugged in, a hard drive or anything like that. This is so that you can actually access that drive inside of Hyper-V. And we're just gonna go right over here to our folder. And it's gonna show up on my computer shows it the F1 desktop, but as you can see, this is now that drive that we have on our desktop and it shows us all the folders that we have in there. And this allows me to access all my data sets and stuff for classes and software installation and things like that. So there's another way which you can actually do is mount a hard drive in here, which is what I did. So I have a shared folder, which I can leave mounted to my actual virtual machine. And I'll actually show you how to do that in the next video, how to get stuff in. The only downside of using this method is the fact that you have to turn your virtual machine off and then connect your hard drive to your host computer to be able to add files. And once you finish adding those files in from the host computer, you need to eject the virtual hard drive and then allow, then open Hyper-V back up. You can't just like drag something into the folder and it shows up. There might be a better way to do shared folders. I'm not exactly sure, but this allows you to create a virtual hard drive, add stuff from your host computer into that, vir into that virtual hard drive, disconnect it from the host computer, and then allow to use the guest computer, which is this domain space that you see in here, this Hyper-V session. It allows you to attach it and then access the contents inside of that folder. And I'll show you guys that in another video. So thank you and take care.